There are some important changes and updates on KDP that you will want to make note of if you want your book to be found and you want to make more book sales. Before we get into it, if you want to learn how to become a best-selling author, grow your author business, and increase your credibility and authority online, then visit bookbaguniversity.com to enroll in my brand new book marketing program that walks you step-by-step step from book publishing to get into the book bag. This is the exact same blueprint that I use to sell over 50,000 copies. If you're new here, I'm Latoya Nicole, and I help women just like you publish books that sell. Be sure to like and comment below if you want more videos like this showing you how to make money online. Now let's get into it. The newest change that KDP has released is to categories. But why is this important? You can now choose three Amazon categories based on your primary marketplace for each title during setup or if you have an existing book that you like to make changes to. Categories are the sections on the Amazon store where customers can find your book. So think of it like the bookshelf in Barnes & Noble. If you go to Barnes & Noble and you're looking for a cookbook, it may be in this section. And then if you decide to look for a children's book, it may be in this section. It's the same thing with Amazon categories. It's a way to separate the books according to their appropriate section. When you set up your title, you can select up to three categories to help customers find your book in your primary marketplace. For example, if your primary marketplace is on Amazon.com, then you will have certain categories to choose for that specific marketplace. Once you choose your three categories, then Amazon will take that information along with the keywords you selected to place your book in categories on the Amazon store for all of your enrolled marketplaces. The reason that this is such a huge deal is because prior to, you were able to select up to 10 categories. So you could choose two on your back end, and then you could contact Amazon and let them know to add eight more categories. But now, since you could choose your own categories, Amazon is no longer accepting requests to add or update categories. Now let's take a look. Let's say you wanted to choose categories for a coloring book like this. From the paperback details tab of your book, you would just scroll down until you get to the part that says primary audience. And this is what you're gonna make sure that you're choosing the correct audience, right? So the question is, does this book contain language situations or images inappropriate for children under 18 years of age. So of course, I'll check no for this book. And then if you have a reading age for your book, like let's say your book is for um, ages uh, seven through 10, then you would just select the reading age, whatever it may be for your book. And then you're gonna come down and make sure you choose your primary marketplace. Now this is important because like I said earlier, whatever primary marketplace you choose, you're gonna have categories specific to that primary marketplace. So I'm choosing amazon.com. And then for the categories, this is where you can see the update. As you see, categories update. You can now choose three categories that match Amazon store categories. If you make changes, all your existing categories will be removed and this action cannot be undone. Your new categories will not go into effect until you submit and publish your book. So this is where you're gonna choose your categories. Let's say for your coloring book, you wanted to choose arts and photography, and then graphic design, and then you would choose uh, maybe commercial and then illustration, right? So then once you choose it, you will be able to see the um, clickable link. And this is how you're gonna be able to tell if any other books are listed in this specific category, letting you know if your book is supposed to be in this category or not. So once you click on the link, you can see other books that are listed in this category. So if you see other coloring books, like you see some here, then you, you're good to go. And then you would just add another category and do it all over again. So let's say you wanted to do a coloring book category, right? So you would go to crafts, hobbies, and home, and then you would just choose coloring books for grownups. And then whatever is specific to the placement of your book, like if your book is a dog coloring book, then you might want to choose animals. If your book is a fashion coloring book, then you can choose fashion and then so on. And so it just makes it so much simpler to save those categories now because now you know specifically what you're looking at. Now I've heard mixed reviews about the new changes because some people feel like now since they're limited to only have three categories, they may not be able to rank with that bestsellers badge because a lot of people want the bestsellers badge on their book, you know, so you can say your book is a bestseller, right? It gives you credibility and authority when you can actually say, my book has an award or my book is a bestseller. But the reason that I feel like the change is better overall is because 
So many people have so much confusion when it comes to choosing categories, especially for coloring books. And I was the same way when I first started. I was like, okay, like what category should this be in? I see a coloring book category um, when I'm looking on the Amazon um, section, but I don't see a coloring book category when I'm on my back end. So how do I know what to choose? And then it kind of makes you choose what you think is next best. And that might not even be the correct category. So then your account is at risk for termination because you don't put your book in the wrong category and you may or may not have known that it was the wrong category. So it just takes away the overwhelm and it makes things so much simpler. And so the bottom line is you want to choose categories that are most similar to your book so that people can find your book when they're searching in that particular category, increasing your chances of more book sales. That being said, no one will ever find your book on Amazon if you don't first publish your book. So if you're ready to upload your book to KDP's platform, watch this video next. Until next time, bye-bye.